Anything that can injure the thinking brain will cause a seizure. Animals which experience seizures need a proper diagnosis. Sometimes it's as simple as an examination, physical and neurologic examination. Sometimes it's laboratory testing. As in the case with an epileptic, a six to five year old, six month to five year old dog with seizures and a normalcy between the seizures. Normalcy on examination allows for anticonvulsant therapy to be instituted. Anticonvulsant therapy exists with many drugs now available for dogs and cats, so we are now able to provide a great quality of life for seizure patients. Seizures are rarely lethal. Seizures are transient events. They usually last 60 to 90 seconds and up to three minutes. There is a period before the seizure, what we call a preictal period. That is where the dog will oftentimes come seek you out, will appear more clingy before they go into the seizure or what we call the ictus. The ictus is the actual seizure part and it accompanies abnormal movements of the limbs, loss of consciousness, urination, defecation, and abnormal response. They are not with you. They do not respond to you even though their eyes are oftentimes wide open. Animals do not choke on their tongues during a seizure, so please do not stick your hand into their mouth because you will be bitten. Leave the animal in a resting position in an area where they cannot get hurt and leave them alone. Seizure itself will end and a postictal or after seizure phase will begin. That period the animal is disoriented, will lay there and pant, will tend to drool, will then start to regain consciousness being disoriented, drunk or ataxic, and oftentimes not knowing who you are nor seeing very well. Within minutes to sometimes hours, your pet will come back to normal and be the same dog you once had.